What's going on guys? It's another late night over here at Palmer Aquatics. Today, I wanna talk about aquarium duckweed and why it's the secret to my success in keeping all these awesome fish tanks. There's so many reasons why you want duckweed in your aquarium. I know a lot of people are like, I hate duckweed. Uh, I'm searching on how to kill it. Once you have it, you can never get rid of it. It's invasive. But let me tell you, in the aquarium hobby, it is a lifesaver. So I just set up six new aquariums over here on this rack. And one of the first things that I always do in all of my new aquarium setups is I add duckweed. You can take a close look underneath and I add duckweed. And uh, the reason is, is because in new tank setups, in the process of cycling a new aquarium, weird things happen to the water parameters you know maybe ammonia is in the water you know it's trying to figure out the cycle process to where your filter grows beneficial bacteria and feeds on it and uh long story short guess what feeds on that duckweed and duckweed is a complete lifesaver when it comes to new tank setups you may notice that a lot of my tanks don't have a lot of algae in them, and that's because I keep duckweed at the surface of the water. This allows not too much light to get through to the water column and kind of just like have its way with it. You know, like sometimes when you have a window that's too close to an aquarium or it's in the right spot in the room, you'll notice that you get tons of algae. And what happens is, when your light is shining down in your tank, duckweed kind of helps refract a lot of that lighting. And it's also kind of consuming some of the, the ultraviolet itself. And yes, some people may argue that it steals a lot of the light from more, uh, more precious plants, essentially. You know, a lot of people hate it because maybe it's stealing the ultraviolet, you know, like this tank right here you might be able to argue, well, that's not getting enough light. But a lot of times I find that uh, it is adequate amounts of light. The third reason I like duckweed is because it consumes so much nitrates in my water to where I barely do water changes. It's absolutely crazy. And a lot of people would argue, I'd rather do water changes than net duckweed. Literally, all I have to do is come up to the tank, open the lid, net out the duckweed maybe like once a week and then i'm done and it saves me from doing a water change if i gotta do a water change i gotta get over here i gotta put the siphon in here i gotta remove it i gotta put new water in it i gotta dechlorinate it i would rather net the duckweed it's that simple um i would rather work with duckweed all day long and kind of like figure out the mixture of how often i have to net it because it's saving on algae, it's saving on water changes, and it's just, if you can't understand the benefits of this, I, I'm confident that you just haven't trialed it and experimented it versus just doing no duckweed. Um, I just, I'm so sold on aquarium duckweed, guys. I think there's just one more thing to talk about. I get a lot of questions regarding the fact of not being able to keep duckweed alive. And there's a lot of parameters. Um, one of the key things to keeping duckweed alive is surface agitation. It's a big, big deal when it comes to floating plants. I've done a lot of videos on it. And uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll flip the cam here and show you. So if you're using a hang on the back filter, a lot of times duckweed doesn't last or it doesn't stay alive. And that's because there's too much water current. What happens is the water comes off of here and it's just too much agitation for it to stay alive. A lot of times, even like something like this, these sponge filters, that's just too much surface agitation. And I just did a video talking about these floating plants here and this is a uh, sponge filter as well, that sometimes when you have a sponge filter, what you have to do is really tone back the, the, the volume of air going into it. And what you do here is just create a bleeder valve. This is just a T where you allow some of the, the air to exit out of the line instead of 100% of it going to the, the filter itself. So surface agitation, you want as minimal as possible. Here, I'll show you another example. Here's a 20 gallon long, and I've been having issues with the duckweed staying alive in this tank because the goal here at Palmer Aquatics is to keep the duckweed alive because it saves my butt in doing water changes and cleaning algae. See, I can't keep 
I can't keep this duckweed alive and I have algae all over the glass. And you can see the dead duckweed down there because it's dying. So what I'm playing with here is brightness of light. I raise the light a little bit. Um, they really like bright lighting, like 6K lighting. And also the type of sponge filter. If you can get your hands on a dual sponge filter, they work the best. And try to kill back the amount of air coming back as much as possible. But you still want it running because obviously you still want a filter running in your tank. Um, sometimes like in floating uh, plant tanks like this, maybe you don't even need a filter, but there is a tiny bit of a sponge filter running over there. It's just really low powered and uh, floating plants hate surface agitation, guys. So the least amount as possible. If you have a hang on the back filter, it's not a good idea. It probably won't last. So literally I talked about the benefits of duckweed and then I told you um, how to keep it alive, essentially. And like I said, the goal here is to keep as much duckweed alive as possible in the tanks. Um, I don't have it in this tank just because this is like a beautiful, beautiful tank. I just don't have it in yet. I can't keep it alive in this tank. But uh, like you can see, I've done tons of testing on keeping the duckweed alive. And it saves, it'll make or break a tank from doing a lot of water changes. Oh, guys, I'm tired. It's super late. I really need to go to bed, but I just can't uh, I just can't get fish off my mind. So give this video a like. Let me know in the comment section about your aquarium duckweed care. Is it going well? Are you thinking about getting some? Can you not keep it alive? Please hit up the comments. I try to get back to all you guys. Um, aquarium duckweed is the best. Taking care of it is super easy under the right circumstance. Like this, that might be too much flow. And that duckweed's all being pushed over here. I might turn down that flow a little bit with a valve. So, all right, guys, I'm outie.